plays fussy like Shirley MacLaine, and when she's a fussy retired businesswoman who hires a young journalist to write her obituary in advance so it'll be the way she wants it? Ah, well, guess what? Who has the last word? Lily, no, 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 no. You do not trim these hedges from top to bottom, but from bottom to top, as we've discussed. Many times. All right, I'll trim the bushes myself. Then you can cut the grass. You cut the grass yesterday. Yes. What can I do for you, Miss Lawler? I request a formal introduction. Come with me. Are you firing me? You should be so lucky. Hey, Sherman, the thought of leaving my obituary to chance is completely unreasonable to me. Well, I am the obituary writer, so when the time comes, I will be writing her obituary. I want you to write it now. Huh. Here's the names of a few hundred people. Were you a little intimidated, though, by working with Shirley MacLaine before this movie started, that you maybe had a hard time maybe thinking, trying to get to know her? I'm a really insecure um, person at, at times, uh, working on that, but before, you know, I know I don't I try to keep expectations super low. I don't have any expectations when I'm gonna meet somebody. I mean, just because, you, you have all these labels, I mean, legendaries, you know, you're, you're really burned all of it, but it's, you're a human being, and so, you know, when we met two humans, she's awesome and easy to be around. My name is Ann Sherman, I'm from the Bristol Gazette. I'd like to talk to you about Harriet Lawler. Now, the deceased should be loved by their families. There's an ex-husband, he's a jackass. As I live and breathe. Well, from the looks of it, I'm not sure you do. The deceased must have touched someone's life. I hated her so much. If I want your opinion, I will give it to you. That's what she told me. I was her gynecologist. If there's just one thing you could say about her that's nice. If she were dead, that would be nice. How's that? I thought this movie is as much about growing up as it is about growing old. Mm-hmm. Good point. So, or growing inward. Too, because her character forces me to look at what am I really doing here with all my demands? And I don't think anyone has been courageous enough to be a friend of this character so that she could actually know them. How grossly I overestimated your talent as a writer. The problem isn't with my writing. That was just me writing about your life. My life is not over yet. You were going to help shape a legacy. This is what we have to find a youth to mold, and that will be the person whose life I touch. You got busted for drunk driving, didn't you? Excuse me? You're white and you're here. When I was a kid, I loved the radio. I'd like a job as a disc jockey. And what kind of music would you play? The right question would be, what would I play after I played the Kinks? And who is this? It's my intern. What up? Did I just lose my job to a hundred-year-old woman? It's an unexpected friendship that begins at the end. Look for the last word in your power zone.